Hi, Sagittarius, love and light. This is going to be your weekly love reading. You really, really have had a difficult time letting go of a connection of your person, or this is your person, flip and switch the roles, right, and energy. Time is fluid, right? So um, I definitely, this is a past person and this is somebody you know, I feel like it's been difficult for someone to let go of the connection. Somebody here is praying and hoping that things are gonna work out. They're actually really hoping that you haven't let go and they um, are getting ready to surrender here to this connection. So maybe some of y'all um, with romance, maybe maybe somebody here is going through a dark night of the soul or they're learning something. Okay, this is really getting on my nerves. Okay. Now, somebody here, when, when they close their eyes, I feel like all they do is think about you. What's that Stevie Wonder song? All I it's think about you I'm gonna turn this off this is I don't know why this song never really usually goes off but anyway um somebody really misses the good times the two of y'all have with each other regardless of the circumstances okay somebody here is going through a rough time right now and it's almost like this person has like somebody here has threw their hands up and they said, you know what? I give up. I'm, I am I don't have to have control over situation anymore. This is somebody I feel like is tired of feeling overwhelmed. Okay. I don't know what they're feeling overwhelmed about. But I feel like you collective really have been focusing on peace, joy, feeling joy, being happy. I feel like you've released whatever it is that you've been trying to you know, manifest when it comes to love, but it looks like love is getting ready to strike. Cupid is about to strike. So y'all are manifesting some form of miracle here. It's like something that's too good to be true. So just trust your heart and continue to trust your heart. Knight of Cups energy, follow your heart. That's really all this means. Just follow your heart, okay? Somebody here wants to follow their heart and surrender to, to the connection. So let's see what's going on. Let's hop into some tarot. Show me this energy here, please. For that collective. Ooh. Judgment just went in reverse. I don't typically read these, this deck in reverse. Interesting. Wow. Somebody may have felt like they made the wrong decision. Scorpio energy. We'll clarify. Whoa, the hair of fine. All right, Holy Spirit, I'm not gonna read these in reverse, by the way. So, don't give me these cards in reverse, please. And thank you. Sometimes I read reversals, but I'm not gonna do that in this day because the artwork is a bit weird. So, the hair of fine, someone here, the hair, of, yeah, okay, and the magician. There we go. Some um, manifesting energy here. So you you are manifesting. I got to change these glasses. They're really, really bothering me. They're too crooked, y'all. They look crazy. Gemini energy. You could be a Scorpio, Gemini, or a Taurus. Somebody here. You, you're manifesting something. Ten of Cups. And there goes that uh, Knight of Cups. There goes that Knight of Cups and that Ten of Cups. So follow your heart. You, you've got love coming towards you. There's really no need to for you to just be upset. I feel like you guys are about to get or unhappy, not even upset, regardless of whatever circumstances that's happening right now in this moment, you guys. Like, you literally have something good that you've manifested here. I feel like people are not going to believe their eyes when they see this, okay? They're not going to believe their, their eyes when they see this. But somebody here could have that you dealt with in the past, um... I just feel like they made a wrong decision. We'll see though, okay? So you got a love offer coming in. It's going to make you very, very happy. This is something you manifested. Um, hmm. I feel like you guys have been through a lot. I feel like people are about to see what you manifested. You may not even believe your eyes when you see whatever it is that you've manifested. 
you may this could be somebody here that you didn't even realize like you wouldn't even think you would see again or you for a lot of y'all maybe you thought your divine masculine your divine feminine like was never going to learn their spiritual lesson they were never going to do the work they were never going to do the self-reflection and um someone here is, is is i feel like learning and realizing they made like an awful mistake here for some of y'all you definitely could be manifesting something new but there is a old energy here as well too i'm just gonna tell you that um but the thing is i feel like you guys are seeing the snakes in the grass you did work you did your self-reflection you did your shadow work basically so you can see the weeds through the grass. So now you're just like, all I have to do is wait for it and enjoy the moment. The chariot, cancer energy. Listen, we have all major arcana cards out here. I'm telling you, this is so good. You overcame victory and I feel like people are really going to, yeah, you're about to get a lot of attention here. Maybe some of y'all really get attention. Like, you get a lot of attention or you're very attractive or something of that nature. But, um, man, I feel like you're about to, let me, somebody here could be traveling towards you or you could be doing some traveling. High Priestess, another major arcana card. I shuffled the, I shuffled this deck. I shuffled this deck a lot. We don't have any minor arcana out here right now. The high priestess, your intuition is about to tell, is about to either tell you or somebody here is going to, is getting ready to be guided somewhere in a new direction, I feel like. Something somebody has prayed for and hoped for and wished for and dreamed for. It's just, it's coming. The veil is, is the veil is, you see how this curtain is, is like let back? Typically in um, traditional tarot, the, this veil, first of all, the high priestess is facing, right? But this high priestess is, I feel like has already had her conversation or given her knowledge or what her wisdom. And these people in the background are like, okay, she's, I feel like this high priestess has said, okay, I'm getting ready to go out on my journey they turn around and they look and face this new journey and this veil is is be, being let back because this chariot is facing the same way as this high priestess they both have their backs turned <laughs> and so there's this magician i don't know whatever it is that you manifested it's 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 pretty real it's legit it's straight from god too somebody is god's child like, God loves you. Yeah. I feel like whoever I'm talking to, that you're somebody here who you have a lot of wisdom. Five of Cups. So there's your first minor arcana card here. Five of Cups is somebody here being upset, sad, depressed. I feel like that's not you. Somebody secretly could be sad. <laughs> Water energy. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is somebody here, whoever's in this five of cups energy, when people, when this person is alone, they're sad. It's like they're thinking about you and missing you when you're, you know, when this person is not around a crowd of people where they're not with their family or their friends or like when they don't have people in their face, this person is really struggling. When they go home at night, honey, they are not doing well. Yeah, they want this. This is this person wants to bring this Knight of Cups to you. Whoever's in this regret, whoever this is, or they're thinking about what they should have did. If maybe in the past they didn't, they're well, they didn't because they otherwise they wouldn't be in this Five of Cups energy. Somebody is getting ready to leave and go somewhere and take a cup of love somewhere because they are tired of sitting in this old depressed, stale ass sorrow energy or something like and feeling sorry for themselves. Did someone is in this card here, the Knight of Cups. This person is taking the cup. They're leaving. They're leaving somewhere because somebody in the background is waving bye. They're like, bye. See you later. Let me know when you make it safe. That's what that is. Show me more here. 
Eight of Wands. I'm telling you, they're getting ready to travel and come towards you, you guys. Somebody is either getting on a plane, getting in a car. We do have the chariot here. All right. I'm just saying. Eight of Wands. Somebody here could be a Sagittarius. <clears throat> mm. I feel like angels have, somebody's even been having dreams. I feel like your spirit team or your person's spirit team or ancestors, somebody's person's ancestors or spirit guides, either somebody's beginning synchronicity signs. Synchronicity and signs can be anything. It could be a song that reminds you of them. Um, it could be a smell. It could be a name. It could be a dream, right? It could be anything. We, it could be a, a number. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody sees things differently. Uh, everybody has different um, signs and synchronicities that they see. Trust and believe that they are getting a ton of those. And you know what's so funny? Cupid's arrow strikes. Remember we saw that? Look at this. There's an arrow. In this eight of wands, this person, this angel has an arrow. There's an arrow right here. I'm telling you. This is this is coming straight from source. Whatever somebody is feeling led and guided to do, it's coming straight from source. Four of Cups. So either somebody here is afraid they're going to get rejected or um, I don't think that's what this is, though. This person is unhappy. I feel like spirit, someone here in this situation is unhappy, sad, and depressed. And spirit is like, you better get your butt up. Or this is when this person decides to get up and make a move, take some action. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Yeah. Somebody wants to fight for something. They're going to get, get ready to go to battle. You know what's so crazy? In this Nine of Wands, there's a bear here. This person has all these sticks, which to me represents like protection, right? The, and, and, guard, and guardedness maybe even too. They have a bandage wrapped around their head, which is, you know, in traditional tarot, the Nine of Wands is typically like, I'm going to fight for this, you know. So somebody here might about to take action, um, wants to take action here. They're going from the Eight of Wands to the Nine of Wands, which tells me they're ready to be strong and fight for something. They're going to get over this fear. They're going to get over this Four of Cups energy and do what it is that they have to do. It's giving like I'm putting my pride to the side. The moon energy, oh my goodness, lots of cancer energy here too, I'm telling you. Somebody's getting ready to overcome their fears. That's exactly what this is, and stand up and fight for you, or fight for this connection. Because the the, the moon is usually like something hidden, something you don't see, it's, it's, it's the unknown, it's the fear. But in this, in this card here, there's a, a male, I don't know, it could be a female, it could be anybody you want it to be. But whoever this person is, they're coming. They're a soldier. They're they they have a lot of armor. They're ready to fight. Nine of Wands. There's a bear in the background. This person knows they gotta go up against this bear, and they're gonna do it. This person's coming out of the water, right? Which is they've already been in the water. Now this person is turning around and coming out of the water. They've got a knife in their hand and they have armor on. So this person is protected. This connection is protect, maybe protected by spirit. Like I said, it's something very divinely orchestrated here. Also, too, the thing is somebody's definitely following their heart, overcoming a fear and saying, you know what? They're overwhelmed with emotion. They got to make a move. They got to make a move. Uh-oh. Six of Wands just came out. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Four of Pentacles. I'm telling you, man. Hmm. Let me. I'm gonna clarify some of these. Give me one more card. The Knight of Pentacles. That's the Five of Pentacles. So we got the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles here. This person's holding on to you. I feel like. I'm getting to, let me see, well, what's this Nine of Pentacles about? Yeah, okay. This person is willing to rebuild and do the work. 
I feel like it just took this person a while to get to this point. This didn't happen in 30 days. This didn't happen overnight. This is not what, that's not what this is. So if you just like have a talk to your person in, in a week, like this probably isn't for you. This isn't for you. The Eight of Pentacles is here. This somebody really has actually been doing the work. I feel like that you have actually been doing the word too. See, that's the thing. And that's how you manifested this miracle. The two of you may have even manifested each other. Because let's look, this eight of pentacles has two people in it. You've got one person working over here and then you got another person working over here. The two of y'all have, this person knows the two of you have to work together as a team this time around. But I also feel like in separation, because I feel like I'm talking to someone who there's been some past issues, some past regret. Um, and yeah, some secrets, you know, some hidden emotion. Uh, but anywho, so... This Eight of Pentacles, this person wants to rebuild. They they are still holding on to you. They really are, you know, a lot of regret, remorse, and guilt. This person feels a lot of guilt. They really do. I want to see what the Six of Wands is about. There's a lot of victory out here, though. Why is the Six of Wands here? Yeah. They love you. I'm telling you. <laughs> Two of Cups, this person is recognizing, this person is recognizing this connection and what it means. They're recognizing, this person is, I believe this person is finally understanding and getting that this is seriously a divine connection. Maybe just this is someone here who you, who never said like, if you believe in twin flame journey, your person may not have been spiritually away, ascended, ascension, you know what I'm saying? Like they may not have ascended like you. They may not know, be aware. They might be ignorant to what a twin flame or soulmate is, but I feel like now they, spirit is telling them something. I'm, I'm telling you. This is good. Somebody actually did the work. Yeah, they did the work. So let's see here. Let's clarify this chariot. The chariot is the hermit. Mm -hmm. That's them overcoming. They did some self-reflection, Virgo energy. Yeah. I feel like this person has changed. They really did some inner work. They really have been thinking about this. They're looking for you. They are searching for you. They are looking for you or they're about to. Show me more on the chariot. Yeah, the seven of pentacles. They just been waiting for the right time. They just been waiting on the right time here. But spirit is like somebody, a passed over loved one. Somebody could have saw a ghost. Somebody here could have uh, saw a ghost. Somebody's grandmother, mother, I don't know. Could be somebody who passed away. I'm telling you somebody saw a ghost. Spirit has something to do with this too. Because the hermit sometimes can totally be a ghost or a spirit guide. And the seven of pentacles, there's like a ghost up here. Oh, sorry. Can y'all see that? There's like a ghost. Up, there's a ghost up here. I feel like a... You know, y'all can think I'm crazy or whatever, but I y'all know if you're watching tarot, you you don't think I'm crazy. Um why is the high priestess here? Pisces energy. Yeah, the truth came. If the truth this person is realizing something. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. The truth was revealed to someone that they know what they and now they know what they need to do. They know what they need to do. Definitely something was revealed. And it's like now somebody knows what needs to be done, what needs to be said. <clears throat> this could have been like an old third party situation here too, but you know. So show me the magician. It's the lovers. Gemini, look at that. You could be a Gemini. Your person could be a Gemini. This was a choice. This was a choice. Definitely, I mean, I, we have a lot of major arcana cards out here. You know, 
The lovers is energy of passion, definitely a soul tie, a strong soul connection, you guys. A strong soul, so like I said, soulmate could be a soulmate. You know, the lovers is here, the two of cups is here. You have a couple who is fully clothed, and then you have a couple out here who's bare naked in front of the world, looks like to me. And I feel like. <clears throat> just feel like dang i'm getting emotional i just feel like the two of y'all have like seen this person both of y'all honestly feel like you've bared your soul to this person or this tr this person truly sees you for who you are or you truly see that you were had the ability to see this person for who they were even a potential and i'm i do not believe in falling in love with somebody's potential okay because you that's where you really get shit hit fans sometimes we don't want to do that what well, show me the lovers here but i was saying earlier yeah somebody made a i feel like in the past they made a wrong choice but now this person wants to make the choice to come towards you three of pentacles okay and and work things out with you okay they do bottom of the deck is the ace of cups they want to work on this. The Eight of Pentacles is already out here. This time around, look at this. This person's in their head. Eight of Swords is right underneath this Ace of Cups. And then we got the King of Swords underneath that. So there's the masculine. Could be an Aries, could be an Aquarius here. They, they want a new beginning. They want to take a leap of faith. This person, I feel like maybe in the past that they were very, uh, somebody could have lost a baby or a child. If somebody didn't lose a baby or a child here, someone could have, um, some of y'all a baby or a child or a newborn or something has something to do with this situation. Now, for some of y'all, there could be a an unborn child. <clears throat> no, this person's inner child. It was an issue. Somebody had communication issues because of their inner child or like a, 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 a upbringing or a mother figure or for a father figure for some of y'all. Did we clarify? Let's clarify the moon. Why is the moon here? The four of swords. Yeah, I feel like that was them hiding behind their emotions not overcoming their fears 444 is out here now but I believe that they are going to do that show me one more on the moon please somebody could have lost a family member or a child the eight of cups yeah this person was not doing anything Hiding their emotions, not taking any action. But like I said, they're getting ready to walk away from something. Eight of Cups. Look at this. I'm telling you, this person got out of the water. Now they are on their new journey. They took their armor off. In the moon card, the man has on armor. Well, in this Eight of Cups, this man it does not have on armor. They have their walking stick. They're ready. They got on their walking shoes too, y'all. I'm telling you. <clears throat> Somebody here is leaving a hometown, a city. What's next after this Eight of Cups? What was that? Six of Pentacles. So they're coming to give to you. What's after this Eight of Cups? Yeah, Ten of Ten of... Look can't make this up the six of pentacles and the ten of pentacles bottom of the deck is the king of cups oh honey yeah they're coming in to be they showed up cold emotional emotionally detached uh busy you know communication problems or just like i don't know just like now now they are getting ready to come towards you in full emotion in full regret ready to do the work because i see this king of cups has like a navigation tool they have a a hammer a knife 
like a hatchet or something like this king of cups is ready to do the work and put it put it in this you could be dealing with a cancer pisces or a scorpio but yeah this person's going on a new journey six of pentacles somebody wants to give you equally this someone wants to have a family here this ten of pentacles is someone wants the end all and be all with you basically <clears throat> They do want a baby with you. I don't I don't know what that past child has to do with anything, but it resonate for some of y'all. Some of y'all it won't. Okay. Show me more here. Yeah, this person wants to renew things with you. For some of y'all, you definitely live at a distance with from this person. You know, like a different city, a different state, a different country. Yeah, I told you, hard on the outside and soft on the inside. This person was not vulnerable with you. They were emotionally detached and they, they had on a protective shell. They were doing everything they could to protect themselves. And now this person no longer can, um, they feel like they just can't fight that anymore. They're really overcome with emotion. And there's a, like, they're in this Ace of Wands energy here. All this person can do is think about you. Some of y'all, they've been drinking quite a bit, doing something way too much. They've been over, I don't know what they've been doing. Drinking, doing too much. They definitely, then I just say they've been thinking about you. Look at that, reminiscing. After a period of hiding, this person is, guess what? Stepping out of that damn water. Coming away, stepping away from their fears. Coming on dry land. Come, you know, there's a crab in here. Definitely, some of y'all definitely dealing with a cancer. This crab is not in water. This man is resurfacing. Acting like they're single. So somebody here is faking like they are happy being single. Mm -hmm. This person, if they're single, they're not they're not happy alone. Or maybe that's you acting fake and like you're okay. Oh, somebody's hiding something. Hold on, that's some different energy here. What's going on? What are, what is this person hiding? Oh, they're hiding how they feel. Okay. This person is hiding how they feel. We got Woosaw ready to snap, needing to relax. This person can't sleep. They're, they're trying to hide their feelings. The great pretender. Okay. Pretend, acts uninterested, but stalks you. <laughs> they act like they don't give a damn about what you got going on, but they do care. They do care. Goals. Focused on something. So I feel like this is you. You're focused on something. Your own life. This person could be watching. Acting like they don't care. Watching you. They're watching you. Reach your goals. Look better. Do better. I don't know. Become more successful. Oh, they see you. They may not have said anything. Somebody here could have a tattoo of a butterfly. Someone here could be a play piano. Um, show me more here. And somebody loves to wear shades, and they'll never take them shades off. Because there's two people out here with shades on. This person was unreasonable with you in the past. They came out as this, 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 you know, uh, air sign energy, this king of swords. This person was extremely, they only saw things one way. You know, they were very stubborn, which makes sense. Um, ooh, somebody was chasing money. Hold on, y'all. What is this? Some of y'all. Yeah, look at this. Clean this person. This person is trying to act like they don't give a damn about what you have going on or what you're doing. But I promise you they do. I don't care if you have not talked to this person in two two years, 20 years, five months. Honey, they're not 100%. They're faking it. 
they're faking like they're living good. I, for some of y'all, maybe they post stuff for you to see. Some of y'all can see it, some of y'all can't. But this literally says clinging on to you but doesn't want to open up. This person, I, I believe, um, this says reunited, finally got back together, twin flames. Okay. So for some of y'all, this person could have reunited with somebody else, but I really feel like this is this person wanting to reunite with you. So some of y'all are definitely dealing with a twin flame or a soulmate. But but they care is the point. They care. They're craving you. Look at this. Moving in. Leaving permanent. <laughs> leaving permanent items in your house. I don't know. Did they used to leave permanent? I'm telling you. Look at this. Bother. This person acted like they're not bothered, but they are. They're definitely bothered. Child, they, they want to know the tea about you. They want to know what you got going on. They want to know what you what you are doing, Divine Feminine. I'm telling you. This person has questions. They could be asking about, oh, asking around about you, looking you up on the internet. <sighs> they are. I feel like you just want to leave the past behind, but they really are hoping that they can get a redo and you'll take them back. I don't know if you are, but... <clears throat> Show me more here. How long is this reading? I don't know. I'm not going to rush this. Conflict. Clashing differences. In yeah, incompatible. This person, I really feel like, you guys, they were very, like, yeah, wearing a mask. Thank you. Pretending. I feel like, well, this is what's going on now, but I'm just going to tell you this. The, yes, this person is in some five of wands energy, right? Because they are going to, I feel like a lot of this conflict is from within them. I don't see external conflict here. Now, maybe in the past you had external conflict with this person, okay? But, but right now, this person is going through it on their own. They don't need anybody's help. They're walking around acting like they are okay, wearing this mask, like they're good, but they're not good. <clears throat> they're not good they're going through a whole bunch of turmoil they're really affected by this they're affected by not talking to you they're a little emotional unstable about you <clears throat> but they're acting like they're okay and they are not okay this person is about to snap they feel broken hearted three of swords shattered, heart, heartbroken, destroyed guess I'm lonely Broken hearted Life's not over I can't start again Beginnings, new beginnings Try again, new direction, start over Child, I'm telling you they want to start over And they want to apologize and have an open heart So look at that so, Tink Tink taking off his armor, I'm telling you, to come towards you. They're coming from broken energy to this open heart energy. They know the only way they can come back towards you and apologize and get you to listen and take them serious is if they are receptive, if they are empathetic, if they are open and communicate with you, if they do things differently this time, and if they are vulnerable. They do want to return and ask for your forgiveness and apologize. God bless you. Somebody out here is sending. Praise God. I'm telling you, I feel like if this person could have ghosted you in the past. They could have disappeared when you needed them the most. You know, they ran away from the connection. Yeah, they did. Look at this. Past life. Deja vu. Repeated patterns. Karmic lessons. This person came, this, this time around, this person was supposed to come back here this time around to learn and understand how not to be a runner. Part of why you met this person is to teach them to stop running away from situations because they have abandonment issues from childhood or something, right? But this person, I'm telling you, if they didn't believe that you were a soulmate or a twin flame, then they definitely do now. There's a deep, 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 deep. How deep is your love? Somebody listening to uh, Key Sweat, how deep is your love? I'm telling you, when they by themselves, they get in the car, <laughs> and all you hear is 
spin all day thinking. Oh, now I am wondering. <laughs> I'm not making it up. Heart fog, withdrawn, single, lonely, and solitary. This person struggling, mixed signals, blocked emotions, messed up. This person know they messed up for not being open with you. Let me go. I just, that's what it says. So, um, I love y'all. 